Hello guys, welcome to the next video of this playlist Python for Beginners. Currently we are exploring encapsulation part of OOPS concept in Python. So let's continue the journey of Python OOPS. For that let's move to our destination folder. So this is our destination folder as you can see. And now let's open this folder in VS Code. So VS Code has opened in the folder. Now let's open today's file. So the today's title is getters and setters and day is 39. So getters and setters are a standard professional way to update private variables. In previous video I told you that python is not truly private language and a person who is very responsible and adult can only use python programming language. But in certain situation let's say in this example of ATM machine the user might need to change the pin of his account for preserving the privacy of his account. In such situations, getters and setters comes in picture. So let's understand what are these getters and setters using the same code that we are reviewing since two to three videos. So let's take a quick recap of this code. So class name is ATM. This is a constructor which is common since few videos. I will explain you this part later on. Let's check the common part first. So add details, display details function. This time I have created only one user. Assign details to him. Then users dot display details and this is the new part. So let's understand these two functions first, which is get pin and set pin. So what is the purpose of this get pin function? This uh, get pin function comes in picture when user wants to check what is the pin or what is his bank balance. So when users create this type of request, the ATM machine will simply return the pin of that user. So I have simply written here print self dot underscore underscore pin you should simply print the pin of that particular user and this is set pin method i have passed here self and new pin which means that if a user wants to modify his personal details he can simply use this function to modify his personal details and we can modify these personal details using this way which is self dot underscore underscore pin equal to new pin and pin updated now let's run this part of code and verify the code is working correctly or not. I will explain you in the following part within few moments. So after that displaying the details user.getPin. So I will simply comment this part to show you the output and also this part. So let's run the code. So the answer is a display data which is abc pin is 1 2 3 4 and balance is 4 5 0 0 which is correct according to this information and it has also written the user's pin when i requested user 1 dot get pin it simply go to this function and printed the output which is correct and suppose if i want to set the pin i can simply use this function which is set pin and pass the pin here as you can see and after that if i click this user or display details the pin will get modified pin updated and the answer is user pin is 4567 and the balance is 4500 which is correct so this is a standard way or proper way to modify the pin or personal details but in previous video that i told you that doing this work is a malicious activity then why i am explaining this part of work the reason behind using this getters and setter is that we get a command or a hold over the user request which means that suppose if a malicious user tries to access a pin and he can simply change the pin so i will comment this part and uncomment this part here i have verified that if the incoming pin is only in stream then only change the pin else simply print permission and let's say denied so let's test it so if i simply write here 4567 which is integer input then it will not update the pin so answer is permission denied and pin has not changed as you can see so using this getters and setter we actually get a control over what a user is trying to fetch or update and we can also add such a verification over that code that's all for today's video if you like this video then don't forget to share it to family and friends. Also if you face any queries or have any problems in this playlist you can simply message me on instagram or in comment section below. Also the source code of today's video is available in video description you can definitely check out that. Here comes the end of this video. Thanks for watching this video.